Do you have a question? Yes, <laughs> First question. How to make myself stronger in whatever test I go through? Louder, yeah. Okay, we have the first question. How to make myself or ourselves stronger in whatever test we go through? Eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> Second question. <laughs> the lady said, Assalamualaikum. Okay. Uh, you mentioned yesterday in between the space of breath, there's 1,000 times or 1,000 of spiritual transformation. Please elaborate more. <laughs> Continue. Continue. <laughs> it's about dream. Dream later. Dream later. Same vision. Vision? The first question. <laughs> How to make myself stronger in going through the test? Go to the gym <laughs> <laughs> and lift. Wait, 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 lift weight, and then your muscles become bigger, <laughs> and then you can defeat any <laughs> test that comes in front of you. But gym, one gym from the other gym, they differ. A gym for dunya, there is a gym for us. Don't, don't waste your time in the gym of dunya. Go and try to be with the gym of akhirah. Gym of akhirah is what makes you stronger and make you more powerful to defeat any test that comes to you. Today they do martial arts. I don't know the, the names of these martial arts. Some of them they cover their eyes and they have five, six people around them fighting and they can defeat them, is not? Yes. This is Chinese, yeah. Japanese, Chinese, Chinese. Yeah, Kung Fu. <laughs> Kung Fu. <laughs> Kung Fu, that big... Uh, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> that big, uh, what's it called? Uh, Panda. Yeah, no, Panda Bear. Panda Bear. Monkey. <laughs> that big monkey. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. They made a movie, Kung Fu. Kung Fu Panda. Uh, bear. Bear? Bear. You, you need, in order that uh, defeat uh, your enemy, is to go and study any kind of martial arts. They are teaching. And what you think about the enemy that you are not seeing? Shaitan. You don't need a spiritual gym in order that you be able to defeat that enemy. All our minds is thinking about human enemy. We never think about jinn enemy. Devils, not jinn, mu'min jinn, there are mu'min jinn, but devils. So what kind of exercises you have to do in order that you can defeat these devils and them? And Prophet sallallahu alayhi we repeated, he said, tafakkuru sa'a. To contemplate and meditate for one hour about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and about the greatness that Allah gave to Sayyidina Muhammad as his sincere servant and audit yourself and ask istighfar ask forgiveness during that day, that is the gym that you are in need 
in order that you can defeat your enemies which comes through different kind of tests. People today unfortunately they understand from Islam the five pillars. No more. Shahadatu Allah ila ila Allah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah wa ikaw mutala wa ita'u zaka wa sawmu ramadhan wa hajzu al-bayt man istata'a ilayhi sallam that's what they think there is nothing else for them no there are there are the iman and six pillars of iman there is the ihsan that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned so if we don't divert or look at these different uh, elements that Prophet ﷺ mentioned in Hadith of Sayyidina Umar, then we are not uh, trying to go to the gym, we are standing at the door. We have the five pillars, yes. It takes you to paradise, it takes you to paradise. But it doesn't take you to the highest level of paradise until you, your Iman becomes strong and your Ihsan becomes strong. If your Iman is not strong, and your Ihsan is not strong, means your enemy can defeat you easily through your five pillars. So my recommendation for those who are asking this is to have a strong Iman and a strong Ihsan. Now many people they say Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah because their parents they say Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah is not. It's a heritage. Heritage. Why come to Salah they pray because their parents force them to pray and to teach them from childhood. For Sadaqa or Siyam is the same, for Hajj is the same. Hajj is picnic for us, some people. Right? They go for picnic, they come back. But Iman, to have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have belief, that is what is important. Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, one of his uh, one of his, of his believers that believe in Sayyidina Musa said, Ya Musa, you are, when you go to to Sina, ask Allah for me Iman. I don't have Iman. He said, how you don't have Iman? You believe in me. He said, I believe in you, I believe in Allah, but I don't have Iman. Means my Iman is not strong. I need Iman. I need to feel to feel it from within myself. Sayyidina Musa went and he asked, Ya Rabbi, my neighbor is asking for Iman. And he insisted that you send him Iman to his heart because his Iman is not strong. He said, Ya Musa, I am sending him an atom of Iman, Zarra. Zarra, Zarra means in Arabic language is the ant. The ant? Zar is the ant. The smallest ant that you can able to see. They call it Zar because at that time this is how they understand the smallest thing. They, they were not able to see the atom through science because at that time Prophet Wasallam did not exposed to them sciences because it was not that time yet so he said I am sending to him 
an atom of Iman. Says, Ya Rabbi, what atom of Iman? You are generous. Atom for what? <coughs> he said it's enough for him. You want an atom of Iman? Every one of us wants an atom of Iman. Yes, we say yes. Yes. Inshallah. Yes. Inshallah. Amen. Dunya and Akhir. Amen. Are you sure? Are you sure? Huh? Don't forget. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Are you sure or not? Yes. 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 He might forget his wife then. (laughs) So, an atom of Iman, Allah sent to that soul. And Sayyidina Musa came back from Tur (coughs) Sina. coming to the house of his neighbor, telling him about, he's happy, he wants to say, oh, Allah has sent you one atom of Imas. So he came to him, he saw him like that. He moved him. Abdul <laughs> Raza. I thought he is left dunya. <laughs> we read Fatiha, how we met Salat of the Nazareth. I don't know who told me, might be Ibrahim told me that. <laughs> he loves you so much. <laughs> he told me that you died and <laughs> we pray for you, we made Salat of Janaza and after a while I came here. <laughs> I was afraid might be someone came back from grave. <laughs> so you have to rest up. No movement. You have to rest up. No and Allah spoke with Sayyidina Musa Kalimullah. Say, Ya Musa. <coughs> What I sent to him is in my scale the smallest that you can imagine. If you cut him into pieces and grind him, he's not going to wake up. All his body is going to say, Allah, 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 Allah. Allah. So Iman is not an easy belief. That's why it is the second pillar. Not you have the first pillar, the structure. This is the building. The building is Iman. The structure is the five pillars. Islam. The building is Iman, six pillars. Fixing inside decoration and roof is ihsan. So if they don't if we don't have iman, our building we are not we didn't complete yet the walls, only we have the floor. A floor what you do with the floor? Or you only stand on the floor. You cannot a sleep might be a train. Yeah. Or might be the sun is overused burdens. <coughs> you need Iman. Iman is not simple. This Kasaid here teach you the love of Prophet wasallam. <coughs> it's built up your Iman. That's why Allah to build your Iman said in Holy Quran what he said? 
إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه أي أو نيك صلوات أو الروفيد يور إيمان ويل بيلد أب إنكريس and when your iman increase at that time your test at that time your your muscle spiritual muscle your spiritual power the, you can see the unseen you can become a, 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 a strong and powerful person that cannot be defeated Because Shaitan defeat you through defeat you through your iman. If he destroy your iman, destroy the structure. If you if your iman is not strong, your structure slowly slowly begin to break up. You might not make salawat, you might not fast Ramadan, you might not give charity, you might not give make hajj. When your iman is <coughs> becoming Less and less, less is not. But if your iman is strong, your structure is strong. So shaitan attack on iman. That's why as soon as you say Allahu Akbar, you have a lot of doubts comes in your mind. Everyone, no, 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 no exception. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as grand Sheikh may Allah bless his soul. Amen. One time he said to Sahaba, anyone who can pray two rakat without any distraction, I will give him his jubba, my jubba. Everyone wants to, to get the jubba of Prophet It's baraka from Prophet, and the baraka from Prophet will be baraka for the whole city. So <coughs> everyone was saying Allahu Akbar, praying, 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 and everyone, you know, you pray, your prayer is gone, prayer is gone, prayer is gone, except Sayyidina Ali prayed without any uh, distraction, and as soon as he is saying Salamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah, he said, which Jubba Prophet is going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Although he is Anna Madina to Al Mi wa Ali Baba, I am the city of Mulis and Ali is the door. This is story of Grand Sheikh. So Baraka of Prophet وسلم, <coughs> is not simple. And those Those who carry a mana from Prophet وسلم, are people whom Allah trusted. And if they lose that trust, they will be asked in the day of judgment. If they play with that trust or they do not honor that trust, they will be responsible in the day of judgment. Why you did not honor it? Why you did not kept it as a trust? Because it has been given, no one can take a relic from Prophet without order of Prophet. I'm very happy that someone here got the honorable hair of Prophet that he, if he was not a trustworthy one, he would never get it. But because he is still his iman is not strong, he is. One day this way, one day this way. He must control his iman, and when he control his iman, he can move mountains with the baraka of the holy hair of Prophet ﷺ, which you are going to make ziyara on tomorrow Sunday. So, from beginning, I was giving him importance to this majnun. <laughs> But because his heart is clean, they trusted. But he must not lose the trust that they gave to him. Means he has to be generous. He has to be more 
praying, more fasting, more doing uh, nafil, making people happy, and try to build up himself and get married as soon as possible. <laughs> Iman gives you strength. Iman is give, comes from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Prophet and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will inject it, will inject it in, in order to become strong, in order to pass these tests that this uh, person is asking. The test cannot be passed except with a strong Iman. Don't ask, uh, I have this problem, I have this difficulty. All awliya, they have difficulties, they have problems. Don't think a wali is not in difficulties. Every wali is in difficulties. And every wali, people speak about him, good or bad. He, 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 he is not uh, above the tongues of uh, criticism. People criticize. So when they criticize more, you know that that one is higher and higher. Because this one they attack. Shaitan where is going to attack? Attack the one that you believe in in order to make your face less and less. So Prophet وسلم, was said by his uncle, biggest magician. Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab. They were against Prophet And they knew he is not uh, that, but arrogance, pride, takabur, tajabur. Anyone who has this arrogance in himself and think himself, I am superior, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring him down. And today, Ashiruhunna bil ma'roof. Uh, live with your wives in good understanding right? to give them their rights and you take your rights Ashiruhunna bil ma'roof live with them in the nicest way but today you are seeing husbands and wives are fighting Always there is a, a fight for no reason. If there is a reason, okay, we can understand. For no reason, they have problems. Because shaitan is trying to de destroy the faith of both of them in order to destroy the house. So don't come and say, oh, this is a test. <laughs> you didn't see yet tests. Go and see in Arab countries, those who are being killed every day. Those who are, were sing those who were uh, singing against, against each other, they take their, uh, what you call it, their throat, you can see no throat anymore, they take the throat, they cut the throat and they throw the bodies. You look at them, no throat, because they were singing against the, whatever, against each other, from both sides. Alhamdulillah, you are safe here. Alhamdulillah. You must be happy. Alhamdulillah. Don't come against your government. Your government is giving you peace. Other governments are not giving peace to their, uh, to their uh, citizens. Tests, you didn't see any tests. There are children, they don't have food to eat. In time of Sayyidina Umar, and everyone knows the story, when Sayyidina Umar was passing at night, he covered himself and disguised disguise himself and passing and seeing a lady cooking and her children crying, they want to eat. He came to her and said, what you are cooking? She said, I am putting stones 
in the water and boiling them for my children to think that there is food. We don't have food. Yeah, alhamdulillah, you, you are eating with ten hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> ten or, or nine? More, huh? More than ten hamburgers a day. Halal has to be. Wa min Allahi tawfiq wa hamdatul fatih. What is the second question? Uh, you mentioned yesterday between the space of breath there's one thousand. There is what? Between the space of breath. There's one thousand times one thousand of spiritual transformation. So that I was speaking about about uh, electromagnetic waves, analog and dialog and digital. There you have long waves, you have short waves, you have digital waves. The, uh, when you reach a digital wave of knowledge means you will be able to receive thousands of channels as today in the, in the cable and the receiver from satellite. When you have a digital TV and digital receiver, you can get hundreds and thousands of channels. When you have an analog one, you get five channels. The, hum, the thousand channels with the acute uh, electromagnetic waves, you get 1,000 or 2,000 channels, and every channel doesn't affect on the other channel. So it means when your love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes very strong, straight, and to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah will send you knowledge as He sent to Sayyidina al-Khadr alayhi salam. I'm going to speak about it tonight. Allah is Allah is Tawfiq. We have a good fight. Can you see that? Or it is time for zero. Five minutes. Five minutes. So.